Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Smash JT. In this episode, I want to talk about a situation that's arisen since John Bane's passing, aka Total Biscuit, on YouTube. Now, on a personal level, I didn't know John Bane, but since his passing, a lot of people have been coming out of the woodwork to support him, but there have been a few people that have come out against him, and I'd be doing you guys a disservice if I didn't bring this story to you. Smash JT. And the story that was first brought to us on OneAngryGamer.net, Mass Effect Andromeda programmer David Crooks decided to quickly hop on the opportunity to mock and deride John Total Biscuit Bane an hour after he died in a losing battle to terminal cancer. First discovered by Forbes' Eric Kane, he spotted the tweets and made it known that EA and Bioware's supposedly progressive employee didn't mind disgracing the recent dead, especially if they stood on the opposite end of the culture war spectrum. These tweets have been archived because David Crooks has since taken his Twitter profile private, stating, and I quote, Weird, the world just felt a little bit better sometime around an hour, hour and a half ago. Maybe it was just those new running shoes I got for my run home. Followed up quickly by, oh wait, I know, it's because Total Biscuit died. Hey everyone, watch this. I know it's rude to piss on someone's grave, but these axes aren't going to grind themselves. This is just strange to me. The guy is admitting that it's rude to piss on someone's grave, especially right after they pass. But then he acknowledges that, but then he continues on an extremely long rant on a Twitter thread talking about his passing and how awful of a human being he was. How about that time he was the center point of not one, but two major games I worked on, dishing out a plethora of shitty criticism that was less than useful and didn't help anyone, and are still some of his most viewed videos? With a comment like that, you're basically saying, this guy made fun of my video games and didn't like how I made them, and he ruined the sales of them, ergo, since ruining the sales because he spoke poorly about my video games, this guy is a terrible human being. Really? What kind of standpoint is that where you can't even allow a reviewer to review something honestly with their open mind on how they feel about something? And if they do that, you're gonna piss on their grave after they die from cancer? This guy, David Crooks, is next level scum. And I can say that with an open mind right now because he's still alive. And if he has anything to say to me, he can defend himself because this is awful to go after someone who recently passed away from cancer and you're gonna go on a rant telling everyone about how awful they are as a human being because they didn't like the game you made? What the hell? This thread goes on for an extremely long time and I could bore you guys with the details of how pathetic this David Crooks character is, but I'll leave a link below to the archived Twitter feed if you want to research this yourself. He didn't agree with his stance on Gamergate, he didn't agree with his stance on how he didn't like his games, or how he didn't address his quote unquote toxic fan base and how he would send them after people and make them feel terrible about themselves, or whatever reason he didn't like Total Biscuit. Pissing on his grave an hour after he passes away is one of the most disgraceful, despicable acts a human could do. He was a YouTuber, a gamer, someone with some controversial stances on some social issues. But you're basically a likening to a dictator that was killing people. This is ridiculous! David Crooks, aka Cypher Signal on Twitter, has since taken his profile private, but not before Bioware and EA had removed him from his position at Bioware. Which, in an all honesty, is a great thing. I'm all about free speech and I feel like anyone's entitled to their own opinion. But pissing on someone's grave an hour after they pass away from cancer because you didn't agree with their stance while they were alive is just a despicable act. Bioware's general manager Casey Hudson has since apologized for the former staff member's comments following the death of John Total Biscuit Bane, stating, I was extremely disappointed to find out the comments on the passing of John Bane Total Biscuit from someone who was previously part of Bioware. Let me be clear that they don't represent Bioware's views, EA's, or my own. Our condolences go out to John and his family. And that's really what this comes down to after someone passes at such a young age from cancer. Think about the family, think about the surviving members of who John Bane was. And saying things like this only makes you look bad and makes it harder on the family surviving him. It accomplishes nothing good. But that's not the only Bioware employee that had something negative to say about Total Biscuit after his passing. Mike Jungbluff, a senior animator over at Bioware said, if we don't speak the entire truth of a person after they pass and allow their toxic behavior go silent while only applauding their successes, we reward people no matter how they achieve them, and that is a terrible precedent to set 
respect and allow. And while I do believe we should be able to criticize people, especially if they don't agree with our standpoint, unless they were a complete monster during their time alive on this planet, we shouldn't be allowed to revel in their death. Bioware hasn't come out and said anything about these comments from Mike Jungbluff just yet, but if I were him, I'd probably start packing my bags. Because if I ran EA, I knew people like this would be a complete public relations nightmare. And while, like I said, you should be able to speak your mind, have a little humility. This is disgraceful. If you had something negative to say about Total Biscuit, say it while he was alive. Don't wait till moments after his death to cheer about it. Anyways, I just want to get this story out there. I feel like it's being extremely undercovered, and it's an important issue that definitely needs to be discussed. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about Total Biscuit's passing, and how you feel about these developers talking so negatively about him right after he passed away. That's all I got for you guys today, and thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. Smash, change, change, change.